Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit. So in today's session, we will talk about how to create Azure free account. So to get started with any labs in the Azure cloud by using any cloud services, we must need to have one Azure account. So today we are going to discuss how to create an Azure account for free. We are not making any payment completely. We are going to use Azure cloud services for free. In order to create this Azure free account, we need few things. What are those things? First, we need to sign up with the Microsoft account. This Microsoft account is basically used for personal services like Outlook, Xbox and other things will be there. So what we are trying to do. So in order to sign up with the Microsoft account, I'll start from very scratch. It's you don't have even email ID. OK, so we will start with creation of the email uh, email ID onwards. How we can able to create the complete Azure free account to use the Azure services. The second prerequisite or you can say final prerequisite for this we need is credit card or debit card to validate the user identity whether you are a valid citizen of that particular country or not and to charge for Azure services uses beyond free quotas but whatever free trial we are creating this will not charge you beyond free quotas even if you use the reason is it will limit you it will tell you so this is not comes under free quota so what you can do is you can stop using that particular service but whatever is required for data engineering all those data engineering cloud services can be created and used with the help of this particular free trial subscription so in order to create this free trial subscription, we can use the credit card or debit card. This is completely safe to use credit card or debit card. Your amount will not be debited at any cost until unless you are following multiple steps to upgrade your subscription. If you are upgrading by yourself, then money will be debited. But uh, I don't think that is not that easy or by mistake somebody cannot be able to upgrade there are a lot of steps involved this is completely safe to follow this particular tutorial to create the azure account and use the azure services for free let's get started so i highly recommend to use microsoft edge in order to create the azure services so i have the microsoft edge so if you don't have you can install the microsoft Edge browser, which is provided by the Microsoft. You can see Microsoft recommended browser. So I strongly recommend you to use this within this also. So what I strongly recommend you to do is you can go to new in private window. You can call it as incognito mode. This basically if you have any issues with your browser at cache and so on, it will help you to save those things, right? So it will uh, avoid all those issues. That's why I strongly recommend to go into the private tab. Here you can put the URL called portal.azure.com. Okay. Remember this URL is very, very important to access any Azure services. You just put portal.azure.com, just enter. So it is asking you to sign in to continue to Microsoft Azure, but I don't have any email. Let's say I don't have any email. Now what I want to do, I want to create a one mail right so just click i want to create a new azure account click create one azure account for me because i don't have any azure account so do you have at least mail id if you have mail id you can directly put it if you don't have mail id you can say get a new email address for me yes here you need to give the your unique name so you can just say i am just giving here the name of services Cloud Pandit EMS. Okay, Cloud Pandit MS at the rate outlook.com. You can use any of this Cloud Pandit MS at the rate outlook.com, then click next. Okay, if the name is already taken, if the Cloud Pandit MS at the rate outlook.com is not available, it will ask you to provide some other name. One more thing is in this Outlook Cloud Pandit MS not only outlook.com it will also support hotmail if you want to use gmail for logging into the azure account you can create the gmail separately and you can put it here so this is the easiest option you can directly put outlook.com click next 
you can give your password here so i'm providing my password here okay then click next so you can give your date of birth so i'm just giving some uh, date of birth okay try to provide the exact date of birth something like this okay as per your card click next so in order to create your azure account uh, so just to verify you are a human not a robot you need to solve little bit small puzzle just click next here it is showing the diagram right so your arrow hand is showing this side means this particular thing it should show your hand also to the same side okay so same side means this side click submit next it should come this side okay click submit should come so this side submit this this side submit this this side submit this so verification is completed you have proven you are a human continue your action so we have proved that we are humans not a robots right so the azure account is created now so you are safely landed here so welcome to azure cloud let's show you around the be uh, before you get started okay that is fine we will see later so in order to access any azure services that you are seeing lot of services if you go to all services you can see many more but in order to access any of these or if you want to practice any of these things you need a one of the subscription what is that subscription see for example you want to watch any uh, you want to watch a cricket match so the cricket match will not come in just if you turn on your tv it will not come right you must have to subscribe that particular channel to subscribe that channel what you will do you will recharge it similarly here in order to use any of these services you can go for uh some kind of a prepaid options post paid options but a free trial option is basically if you validate your identity automatically azure will provide you 200 dollars for free uh, that you can able to use uh, 200 dollars for exploring the azure products and services for 12 months okay but this 200 dollars will be valid for one month there are some other services which you can able to use for 12 months if you want to see what all services will come under this 12 months category you can see free services but this 200 dollars you must have to close by within 30 days within 30 days you must have to complete this 200 dollars what happens if you are not using those will be expired what happens if i consume this 200 dollars in first 10 days after uh, 10 days you will not be use any of the Uh, services by using this free trial subscription it will show that uh, subscription is disabled either you need to go for the pay as you go meaning you need to upgrade your subscription to use the azure services which will be costly but until unless you upgrade it charges will not be applied i don't think um, you will be able to consume this 200 dollars even if you practice daily right so it is very high amount that azure is providing for you to explore all the products and services this is more than enough for you to explore the things okay so i want to start with an azure free trial account just click start then start free so i need to put my first name last name right so i am just putting my first name here and i am putting my last name here okay so this is the email address and phone number is valid phone number you need to give so i am giving my valid phone number here okay i am giving my valid phone number so if you have used your phone number already i strongly recommend not to give that phone number instead you give the other number if you have any right so i will be using the my other number that i have okay So you can just go to this number six three zero four three double six zero five four. This is my phone number which I'm using now. Ask to call me. So.
So I got the call. Now you can oh, hear what I said. Thank you for using our phone verification system. Your code is four, four, three, three, eight, three. Once again, your code so is four, 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 three, 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 eight, three. three. Okay. Goodbye. So it is done. Now you can click verify code. The code is verified. So PAN ID, organization name, you can give as a Cloud Pandit. Okay, cloud Pandit, you can give the organization name. Address line one, address line two. If you want to give some numbers uh, randomly, you can give. So I'll say so house number, something house number three, iPhone 32, Hyderabad. Okay, 500049. Select the state. State is Telangana, I'll say. Okay, clear. So then you can just say agree to the terms. I would like. Microsoft to share the other things. Click next. So identity verification by card, we can able to see. So it is just ask like giving the name, but now I will enter my card number expiry and CVV and then I'll ask to sign up. Okay. So let me enter my card number and other details. Okay. Now, if you see, I just entered my username and card number and then uh, uh, expiry date uh, then i have the cvv so now you can just uh, like i just uh, blurred these things because even if i upload with the actual card details so uh, youtube will not allow so that's why now let's go down okay so we, let's go down now So once we go down, you have an option to sign up. Just to click on sign up. Once you click sign up, you will get the OTP. So let's wait for a few seconds. Now let me enter the pin here. So I entered the OTP. Okay, so transaction is being processed. We can see what is going to happen. So there are some agreements that we need to do then click next way it is asking us to enter details once again that is fine so it is asking whether this is your card yes click sign up okay so the account is basically created so you can say good experience give some feedback click submit Okay, setting up your account. So redirecting. Now we can see the our Azure account is created. Okay. Okay, so now you can see the default directory. Now if you go to subscriptions, you go to subscriptions. So here it is showing me free trail. Some people it will show the subscription one whether it is showing a subscription one, whether it is showing a free trial, both are perfect, okay? There is no issue. So now what we need to do, now there are some people who are getting this kind of errors, which says check with your bank, your bank would not authorize this payment method. So what it means is that your 
card is not enabled with the international transactions so what you can do if you are using a uh, hdfc if you are using a icsa you can go here and you can say how to enable international transactions okay, transactions transactions in hdfc net banking so you just go here and it will it will give you the steps okay login into the hdfs net banking then click on the cards if you are using a debit card you will have the right left side the debit card option you go to debit card if it is a credit card credit card option then click on request set the international domestic usage is turned on by default it will be turned off you can just turn on and you can authorize you are turning on with your card and otp details will come once you confirm that it will be enabled after enabling that after five minutes you try to enter your details and recreate your free trial you should be able to create okay i hope everybody is good to create the azure account with this now we will see some of the questions that we have which of the following is the first step to create an azure account okay first we need to sign up with the microsoft account next during the azure account creation process what is the purpose of providing the credit card okay as we discussed so there are options i will provide the answers for all of these questions down i request all of you to provide your answers we will see how many of you understood the, all the points which type of subscription is offered for free when creating a new azure account is free trial subscription how long is the typical duration of the azure free trial subscription it's a 12 months but within a one month you are 200 dollars you need to use but uh, there are many services which will be available for 12 months after signing up for an azure account which portal can be used to manage azure resources which portal we will be logged in portal.azure.com it's a azure portal basically what information is required to verify an azure account during the sign up process so basically phone number must be unique okay phone number must be unique so as per that try to give the answer will it be charged automatically if subscription amount is over remember subscription will be disabled amount will not be de uh, deducted safe to use azure subscription yes all of the above a b c all of the above there is option d i think uh, unfortunately that is not able to show you but remember so this particular option i'll show you by minimizing this you can see will be charge me uh, automatically if my subscription amount is uh, over so all of the above subscription will be disabled the amount will not be deducted and safe to use the azure subscription okay all of these things i request all of you to answer accordingly i request all of you to answer accordingly i'll put the actual answers in the chat you can collect it okay that's all team for today thank you all thank you.